You're pirates. Pride, tradition, passion. Be proud of who you are and what you are. You're pirates. When they face adversity, plant their feet, take a brace, hit them right in the jaw, and say, bring it on. Want some, get some. ECU Athletics and U.S. Cellular present The Ruff and McNeil Show. Brought to you by U.S. Cellular, the official wireless provider of the ECU Pirates. And now, the voice of the Pirates, Jeff Charles. It's our favorite time of the year. Another Pirate football season is just around the corner. In fact, this is game week. The Pirates open up on Saturday night at 7 o'clock against Old Dominion. Coming up on the show, Ruff will join me. We'll talk about the offseason. The Pirates have a new defensive coordinator, but an old face. Rick Smith takes over the Pirate D. We'll see how he feels about the Pirate defense going into the year. We also have a new rule this year in college football. It's called targeting, and we'll explain that to you. Ruff and the team will welcome a very special young man to camp who's really captured the hearts of the Pirate Nation, a courageous story. And then, of course, a look ahead to Old Dominion opening the season against the Pirates on Saturday at 7 o'clock. Stay tuned. Ruff will join me right after this. Hey, I'm Bruce from His Wireless Company. He could have switched to U.S. Cellular and been rewarded with a new phone faster, but why do that when you can just make your old phone feel new again? <laughs> Happy birthday, honey. Dad... This is my old phone. No, it is not. It's got that new phone smell. Smell it. Smell it. I did. It smells like lies. It smells good to me. U.S. Cellular believes you deserve better. With reward points to get you new phones faster. U.S. Cellular. Hello better. Customer Aaron Swenson bought from us online today. So I'm happy. Sales go up, I'm happy. It went out today, I'm happy. What if she's not at home? She, she won't, won't be, be happy. happy. Use UPS. She can get a text alert, reroute, even reschedule a package. It's UPS my choice. You happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. 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 I love logistics. measure the value of a college education? What are the values that give it worth? The rigorous pursuit of knowledge. The drive to innovate. The commitment to improving communities. And the courage to stand up and lead the way into a brighter tomorrow. These are the values of an East Carolina education. Come discover their true worth for yourself. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. The Ruffin McNeil Show, presented by U.S. Cellular, continues with sponsorship by bb and sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. You know, we've always had high expectations, uh, but Coach Smith coming in has kind of raised the bar a little bit, and uh, he's brought a new intensity and, you know, some new schemes here and there. Uh, so I think it's going to be good. You know, I think, you know, the bar has been raised. We expect more out of ourselves. Uh, I don't think we need to be where we've been in the past, and, uh, you know, we want to be the backbone of the entire team. Welcome back to the show. Ruff joins us now, and Coach, it doesn't seem possible to me, but you've been here four years. This is your fourth year. Has it gone by quickly? Oh, it, it has, you know, but it's been wonderful. It's been a wonderful experience. Uh, East Carolina University, the Pirate Nation, our players, just the whole atmosphere has been fantastic. And Ben, you, my, my, my friend and my brother, <laughs> it's been great. Yeah, it's been a great relationship, and we look forward to many more years coming up, Ruff. Let's talk about how you feel now about the program. You came in here, as we mentioned, your fourth year coming up. Just your general feeling now, the talent level and what you have in place and how you feel today as compared to that first year? Well, you know, the first year was tough. We lost a lot of letterman that year, but in my press conference I said we're going to build it and we would build it block by block. We've done that. The recruiting and Coach Connor's development program has been awesome. That's been a great asset, not even an asset. I can't imagine, you can't imagine how much Coach Connor's meant to the program and building our team. But now we have that core, that core of kids, Jeff, that you know that uh, understand what we want, they understand the process. We, we keep talking about that. They understand the vision and the goal is very important, but 
but the ability to attack the process, these guys have grasped that. So it makes us a lot easier, uh, makes our job a lot easier from the player point of view. The coaching point of view, Jeff, the continuity of our staff has been of, of the utmost importance. Those guys, we know each other uh, ahead of time, even with Rick's involvement uh, coming back. We all get along great, and we understand what needs to be done. Players talk about the game slowing down for them when they really grasp what's going on. Do you feel that as a coach now, Rolf, in your fourth year, the game may be slowing down? You kind of got the routine down pretty well? Yeah, the routine's pretty good, but it still comes from fastballs coming here sometimes. <laughs> I know you love baseball. They still throw the, oh, the, the, hot, uh, uh, the hot high one at me a little bit, but, uh, <laughs> but it's good. It has slowed down for us. And I think, again, I mentioned the staff, everyone, everyone knowing their job and their role uh, is, plays a vital importance in that. And how comfortable are you with Shane Carden now with a year under his belt at quarterback? Well, Shane's done a great job. Shane's earned it. Uh, last year, he was earning the quarterback of our offense and earning that job. Now he's the quarterback of our entire team. And I think Shane embraces that uh, challenge and embraces that leadership opportunity. So uh, I'm proud of Shane and his progress, and he's done a great job leading us. And, Coach, I know you have to be really excited about Rick Smith taking over the defense. Well, I am. You know, Rick came in and, and fit the criteria that we had, Jeff, set up. Uh, great recruiter, uh, great defensive back uh, skill set, uh, just a great teacher on the back end. He understood East Carolina too, which is very important. Been a part of those two championships that we won here earlier. Uh, the kids have really embraced Rick. They've grasped what, what he wants, his personality. And it's an old school personality now, <laughs> so they, they, they had to be ready for that. And the staff and the Rick have really gelled together. So Rick's been a great addition to us. Yeah, it's going to be fun watching the Pirate defense. Let's go out to the practice field now and watch Rick Smith work. Get my old, that 70-year-old arm loosened up. You know, there's an old saying I remember with Coach Taft, uh, team, together, everyone achieves more. Stand! Ready, ready! Run! 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 Sit! Go! Football is just, uh, Stand. we get 11 guys playing for each other, being accountable to each other. One right! Expect the very best from your teammate. Only thing you deserve is what you earn. We have one right as a defensive football player, and that's to expect the very best from your teammates. It's all about playing for each other, you know, togetherness. If you got selfish people on your football team, you're not going to win. And that's the one thing we're trying to eliminate is anybody being selfish. Nice new haircut. They have to understand and be behind the leaders, whether the leaders, the head coach, coordinators, position coaches, senior leaders. Magazine, you're going to get Dobson lined up. You know, be behind the leaders. The system, got to believe in the weight room. You got to believe in the training room. You got to believe in what we're doing on defense. Believe in what we're doing on offense. And uh, then you just got to work. It makes me happy when my players play hard on every play for each other. Great job. Break them down, Magazoo. Hey, go work. Let's go out there and be some champs today. All right, champs on three. One, two, three, champs. The Ruffin McNeil Show is brought to you by U.S. Cellular. Download the Mascot and Me app for iPhone and Android from U.S. Cellular to get your picture with Petey. U.S. Cellular. Hello, better. Customer Aaron Swenson bought from us online today. So I'm happy. Sales go up, I'm happy. It went out today, I'm happy. What if she's not at home? She, she won't, won't be, be happy. happy. Use UPS. She can get a text alert, reroute, even reschedule a package. It's UPS my choice. You happy? I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. 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 I love logistics. Time to switch to Suddenlink is now. Get our best package with HDTV, internet, and home phone for just $30 per service monthly when you bundle. This package also includes TiVo Any Room DVR service on up to three TVs for $19 a month and your choice of an internet speed upgrade or Wi-Fi for only $10 a month, all with no contracts. Get TV, internet, and home phone for $30 each when you bundle. Switch now. Call 877-478-7860. Order Suddenlink today. They have come for over a century. Bright students, hardworking, determined to succeed. This 
is the heart of the pirate nation. This is why we are here. Help us build the next generation of the pirate nation. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. It's obviously a lot different going into it, uh, mindset, you know, I'm already at the position. Um, for me, it's just kind of coming in and just being a strong vocal leader. Uh, kind of something I've uh, stepped up a lot this off season, spring, going into summer and everything, and just continue to grow in that aspect of my uh, position. Welcome back to the show. Every year in college football, there are new rules. Things are being tweaked uh, all the time in this game. And this year, Ruff, we're going to hear a lot about targeting. Tell us what targeting is all about. Well, first, I think the general principle, which I agree with, is safety for the players and safety for the kids. Uh, targeting is when a player leads with his helmet first uh, and uh, targets an unprotected player. It could be an offensive player uh, un unprotected or a defensive player unprotected, and the, the player is leading with his helmet, which could cause serious injury to himself, but also to the player. Uh, the kids now will be ejected from the game immediately uh, upon review by the officials. So if the fans or our fans see the game stop for a minute after a big hit, that's probably reviewing, they're probably reviewing that film, and the kid could be ejected. From, the young man could be ejected from that game, and and the following game, uh, following maybe half of the next game, according to where it happens in that game, he's ejected from. So it's a it's a very stiff rule. Uh, we've uh, worked on proper tackling and proper blocking from the first day of camp. Uh, we explained that to them. We've had officials come in and explain to them, but we've tried to make sure, not tried, but we have corrected uh, and taught the proper tackling technique and, and blocking techniques. Our Brian Medor had a chance to take a look at the new rule. It's called targeting, and the NCAA wants it out of football, so they've clearly defined the rules. Officials will look for players who initiate above-the-shoulder contact with a defenseless player, using the crown of their helmet, forearm, elbow, or shoulder. The penalty is no longer just 15 yards. It's an immediate ejection for the offending player, a penalty so severe the NCAA put out a video with a warning from ESPN analyst Kirk Herbstreet to take the rules seriously. This year, you're talking about getting kicked out of the football game. So listen, whether you agree with this or disagree with this, if you have one of these collisions, you're going to be kicked out of the game. And the players are getting the message. It does help us, it protects us a lot. You know, we're not going to get those shots um, above the head, and if they do, they can eject it. So I think it's, you know, good for the receivers and the DBs and any players in between, you know, linebackers and stuff like that. If you launch in the air and you hit helmet to helmet, both of you can, you know, get a concussion and it can uh, affect you further down the road. While the Pirates are embracing the new rule, football is a violent sport. Not everybody feels like these rules are necessary. I mean, that's just the way I was, I was brought up playing the game. I was brought up and, and I was taught that, you know, you, you go out there to play football and, and you hit and that's, that's what's supposed to happen. You're not supposed to, this isn't a finesse game. You know, the, this is football. Regardless of the players' opinions, it's a conversation taking place in every locker room across the country. Had the rule been in place last year, 99 players would have been ejected in the major college games the NCAA reviewed. What a hit. While the video has helped define what not to do, East Carolina coaches are making sure the Pirates know exactly what they can do. I feel like defensively no one purposely goes to target helmet to helmet. Uh, it's, a, it's a matter of technique and form, which uh, you know we, we practice every day. We do tackling drills uh, every day before practice and during practice. So it's something that you just got to drill and uh, get used to. I'm Brian Meador for the Ruffin McNeil Show. North Carolina has thousands of miles of road, and they can take you just about anywhere. And with Nationwide Insurance, the number one insurance provider in North Carolina, You'll be protected on all of them. 
So whether you find yourself on the Blue Ridge Parkway or cruising along the Beltline, Nationwide Insurance has you covered. Nationwide is on your side. For a free quote, call your local Nationwide Insurance agent, Jim Walker in Kenston or Jeff Howard in LaGrange. I'm Bruce from their wireless company. They could get reception where they need it with U.S. Cellular, but why miss a chance to get closer with your neighbors? Phyllis, call the sheriff. Signal searching varmints, get your own reception. All right, see you tomorrow, everybody. U.S. Cellular believes you deserve better with national coverage where and when you need it. U.S. Cellular, hello better. How do you measure the value of a college education? What are the values that give it worth? The rigorous pursuit of knowledge. The drive to innovate. The commitment to improving communities. And the courage to stand up and lead the way into a brighter tomorrow. These are the values of an East Carolina education. Come discover their true worth for yourself. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. Welcome back to the show. A youngster by the name of Noah Roberts. His heart has really captured the Pirate Nation, his courageous fight with cancer, and I know he's meant a lot, Ruff, to this football team. Well, he has. I'm, uh, Noah is a great young man. He's a warrior, and you know I call you a warrior too, JC. You're my brother and my friend. Noah, Noah's a warrior, and uh, we're his teammates. I'm his coach, and to see him come around practice, is, it always touches us, and our kids get even more inspired because of Noah. Well, I'll tell you what, he is quite an inspirational story. Let's take an up-close-and-personal look. All right, guys. Hey, listen. Hey, this is Noah right here. Okay, we're going to take him to the house to finish this thing off. All right, so let's block it up great. We're going to, hey, we're going to go blue right, 34 lead. All right, that's east right here. Right, blue right, 34 lead. Shane's going to hand you the ball. Okay, where's Zico? Where are you on this man? You follow him. Wherever he goes, you run right behind him. He's going to take you to the end zone, all right? Hold on that ball tight, okay? All right, all right, break it down, Noah. Ready? Pirates on three, ready? You got it. Take one, two, three. Pirates, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> man, that was uh, that was pretty emotional. I got a little teary-eyed watching that. Man, what a great, great thing! Our, we didn't really even rehearse it either. Our kids were just so excited to do it, and it tells you. Tells you what kind of kids we have here and how much they think of Noah and you know in his fight right now and what an awesome moment. So if you didn't have goosebumps or a tear in your eye, you, you may want to check your pulse after that one. I mean. Special moment for a special kid. Uh, give him a chance to come out here and do what we do with the team. And uh, basically, it was last play and we wanted to take it to the house to end the game up. And so we let Noah take it and we led the way all the way. He deserves it. So does all the fans out here. I mean. We're, they are out here supporting us all the time, and you never know how special that uh, means to someone, what kind of difference it can make for the individual. So he was a good kid, and I'm proud uh, to be able to have the chance to uh, lead him to the end zone. That's awesome. They told me they were going to do that uh, this morning. <laughs> he just got goosebumps hearing about it. And, you know, Noah's kind of been a kid who's been around us for, uh, you know, since last fall, and just, you know, talking with him, saw him today, and, you know, you could just tell how, how special that was for him, I think for the, the whole ECU. Each and every year, Coach Ruff has his fantasy camp for the weekend warriors and also the ladies clinic. And I know, Ruff, it kind of gets you guys in the mood for football again, doesn't it? Well, it does. You know, there's some guys that think they still can play. Uh, <laughs> they come out and we have a day, especially for those guys, for the men. And uh, they seem to enjoy it. Uh, they get a taste of uh, what we really do and, and how we coach. And we don't back off of the guys either. And then the following day, we have a, a great day with the ladies coming by. And it's always a fun field day. But those two events lead up to football camp and football practice for us and they're really kickoffs to the season. Got a suggestion next year have the ladies take on the guys in the game and I'm going to go with the ladies. How about you? No, no, <laughs> no doubt about it. The ladies will win that by a large margin. <laughs> Let's check in now and see how fantasy camp went this year at ECU. Y'all ready to go? Yes, yes sir. sir. Want some? Get some. Yeah. Go see you. Ready to step? <laughs> right, let's go. Everybody outside. On the hot water. Everybody walk. 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 One line at a time. The fantasy camp, this is our second one. Uh, 
and, and our existence here in the women's clinic, we've done it every year. But these two camps and clinics, both of them are, are camps really, uh, it really is kick off for us as, as a staff. We've had uh, a time to get away a little bit. Uh, we've had engagements as far as speaking engagements, those kind of things. And, but today we just get a chance to coach and begins now we, we can just coach. And, and, I, and I really mean that. So this group is uh, our first one and we're back as a staff. This is not for play play today. And I, I know I try to get them smiling, but I, I want them to see and be a part of it. A lot of them uh, uh, may have played in high school, some may not. Uh, we get a chance to get on uh, on the, the turf here at uh, Dowdy Ficklin and get a chance to experience that. But we're going to coach them hard. We have drills set up uh, with offense, defense, and th defensively. No, uh, it's more nightmare, but uh, I didn't learn enough last year. Fancy cap, but it's, it's awesome. It's going to be back here in the middle of Dowdy Ficklin. It's real fun to be a part of the, this coach of the program, isn't it? It is. The coaches, you feel it. You know, we're all weekend warriors, but it's so great to be here part of the Pirate Program. Artists ran all day, was a run yeah. to the yeah. I was really hoping it would be more fantasy and less camp. It's getting a little too real. I want to do what the coaches do. This is what the players do, and this is tough stuff. Oh, I, I missed it last year, but uh, glad to be out here with the guys this year. Seeing Coach Ruff, Coach Connors, uh, hopefully get through the day in one piece. Plenty of water, and uh, it's great to, you know, find out the philosophy of ECU football and uh, be part of this great day out here at Ficklin Stadium. Go Pirates! Today we're with running back Corey Hunter. Uh, Corey transferred here from UNC Pembroke. Uh, if anybody came to spring ball last year, you saw Corey run the ball quite a bit. Uh, Corey's definitely in the mix to run the football this year. We're very proud of what he's accomplished in the offseason in our program. His numbers are excellent, and he's transferred that work to the field. Today, Corey and I are going to demonstrate some things about how you uh, target posterior chain in the back squat. Okay, Corey's going to go ahead and get under the bar. He's going to step out. I want his eye gaze out there. His eyes are down at 13 to 15 feet away. He's going to shove his knees apart, push his hips back. Okay, accelerate up. He's thinking about accelerating out of the bottom with his hips. Okay. Keeping that torso in a good upright position, but keeping that eye gaze down so he keeps that head in a good neutral, neutral position with the spine. Okay, let's rack it. Uh, considering the fact now that we have, with our new freshmen coming into the program, 32 football players who run a sub 4640 indoor, we feel that what we're doing in our strength program is contributing directly toward improving speed. Uh, Corey's done a great job this offseason in improving his speed and has done a very uh, good job as well in relationship to lifting because uh, Corey power cleans 352. Uh, and that's an excellent number for his body weight. So he's got a, a high level of explosive power and we're looking forward to him taking it to the field this year. Camp Connors is brought to you by these local nationwide agents. North Carolina has thousands of miles of road, and they can take you just about anywhere. And with Nationwide Insurance, the number one insurance provider in North Carolina, you'll be protected on all of them. So whether you find yourself on the Blue Ridge Parkway or cruising along the Beltline, Nationwide Insurance has you covered. Nationwide is on your side. For a free quote, call your local Nationwide Insurance agent, Jim Walker in Kenston or Jeff Howard in LaGrange.
Weather vanes are one of the oldest methods of weather prediction. While there are a multitude of designs, the most sensitive weather vane is this rather unattractive dish shape. It detects rain, sleet, snow, even wind. You know it's working because when the bad weather comes in, your TV signal goes out. Quite ingenious. Outdated satellite technology is no match for clear, reliable TV from Suddenlink. They have come for over a century. Bright students, hardworking, determined to succeed. This is the heart of the pirate nation. This is why we are here. Help us build the next generation of the pirate nation. East Carolina University. Tomorrow starts here. This week's Look Ahead is brought to you by the Eye Care Center. Eye doctors focused on you and the official eye care provider of the Pirates. I've been here, you know, since my freshman year. We've grown so much, you know, as a team. Um, so for us to be here today, you know, um, it came so fast. And the growth we've made um, from the first year I've been here to now, you know, is, is special. And, you know, it's one of those things where I'm really grasping the moment and just, and just really loving the moment. Welcome back to the show. It doesn't seem possible, but another Pirate football season just around the corner. Saturday night, Old Dominion will be here under the lights, 7 o'clock. And rough, you have the eight Conference USA games, and Pirates are picked to win the East Division. So you've got a target on your back this year. Yeah, we do, you know, but we appreciate it, and we're looking forward to it, and we embrace it. Uh, but the bar has been set high here for a long time, JC. You know that. And when we first came, they just come off of back-to-back -back championships. Uh, so we understand how the expectations are outside the program, but inside that building, they've always been very high. Uh, each game will take our best effort. We're looking forward to the first one versus ODU. We know they'll come in, come in and ready to go. Uh, Coach Wilder does a great job of coaching. And then coming back the next week, Coach Bellini and his, his, his outfit from uh, uh, from FAU, and then Coach Beamer, of course, coming in from Virginia Tech. So we got our, we got our uh, uh, work ahead of us, and we're Looking forward to attacking that. Well, let's talk about the Monarchs. This is a football team that won 11 games last year, went to the FCS playoffs, averages 45 points a game. I mean, this is a team that can really get the ball in the end zone, can't they? Oh, they do. They got a great quarterback. Taylor's a great quarterback, really a dual threat. Uh, he's their leader, uh, and they spread the football over. There'll be a NASCAR. It'll be a NASCAR day now <laughs> next Saturday night here um, uh, versus the Old Dominion. They, they move the ball up the field pretty good, and we have to do a great job defensively and offensively and special teams making sure we control the tempo. Okay, Ralph, thanks so much for the visit. Look forward to working with you this year again. Thanks, JC. Love you, brother. That's the head coach of the Pirates, Ruffin McNeil. Join us again next week for our report following the Old Dominion game. Have a great week, everybody. The Ruffin McNeil Show has been presented by U.S. Cellular. Hello, better. The Ruffin McNeil Show is an exclusive presentation of IMG, America's home for college sports.